Absolutely, my friend. It is such a feel-good story to end off the week as well. Of course, ex-Archbishop of Cape Town and struggle veteran Desmond Tutu. He has his likeness hanging next to Tata Madibos at the Civic Centre here in Cape Town, and it is incredible. We have the culprits in studio who's responsible for this incredible piece of work as well. They are part of the Dreamfield representatives. Uh, we have Craig, Abram, and Albrecht. We have also, uh, I've learned nicknames, uh, AB and Al. Good morning, guys. Gentlemen, morning. thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, that is incredible. I mean, just a sight for, for Cape Town. Once again, very, very proud to be in a city like Cape Town. Um, Al, I'm going to start with you, man. I mean, what were some of the challenges to create a, a piece of work like this? Well, I mean, obviously, scale scale's the biggest issue. Yeah. So um, when we came up with the concept a couple of years ago for the Madiba piece, uh, we obviously had to take into account that this would be going on 450-odd windows. So uh, we had to actually do individual pieces. You know, through the whole process, we had to actually cut this art into individual pieces. Um, and give it to the printers and print it that way. So, yeah. so yeah. How long did this whole process take? I mean, it, was, it was quite a process because in the beginning we had to obviously, you know, conceptualize what it was about. We commissioned Lindsay Leeuwendal to actually illustrate our concept. So, uh, you know, we obviously used Madiba's shirt as a canvas. Yeah. And all the symbolism within Cape Town was was etched in in his in his shirt. And then the same concept we used for for Arch because obviously. He's uh, the cast sock for, of Archie is so significant, the shirt to Madiba is so significant. Yes, of course. So we use those as canvases, yeah. And it is absolutely striking. Now, Abby, talk to us about the final design details um, that's in there. I mean, we, we have the, uh, the, the, the struggle first. I mean, like the, the children maybe as well. I mean, yeah. we know he loved the children. Yeah, no, so, so you'll see a lot of the symbols um, in the cast sock. Uh, uh, over there. Yeah, they, there they, they, they reflect quite Let's a few. See, yeah. So there's, the, yeah, there's obviously his love for kids. Um, a big feature is Auntie Leia, his wife. Um, Who's been the 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 woman behind every great yeah. man? Is, you know, type of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So on the layers, is is right is positioned over over his heart, um, and on the opposite side, you'll see a, a a fist which is representative of his struggle against apartheid. Um, yeah. It also speaks of reconciliation with the dove. I mean, we all know Archer's work with the the TRC, yes. and he's sort of the warrior for peace. So yeah. those are also there. And there's, uh, to some extent, also um, elements of the St. George's Cathedral. So you'll see some of the rose window okay. type elements in there as well. So stained glass sort of... Look at yeah. that. That is incredible, man. Um, Craig, t talk to us about, you know, the representation of this artwork in Cape Town. I mean, what kind of a space do you think it occupies, besides the fact that it's a beautiful piece of art? Yeah. Well, it's huge for Cape Town. I mean, it really formed part of the, the city skyline now, which is really becoming iconic. I mean, you yeah. look from Woodstock, you're driving in on the N1, and you're seeing these two beautiful pieces. I think the, uh, w what the arch means to Cape Town, what it means to South Africa, goes really goes without saying. But I think what's special for us as Dream Fuel is the fact that it represents um, emerging creatives as well. We're, we're local boys. We're from Cape Town. Um, these guys grew up in Mandalay together with Lindsay, for example. Mm -hmm. Lindsay is now based in Canada. And the fact that we could collaborate in this way with the city, that we work so closely with the foundation, and that we could uh, help and just to create something that's just so iconic and forming mm -hmm. part of that landmark is, is very, very special for us. And yeah, and taking big icons and honoring, honoring them like this. I mean, just, just a final question. I mean, now that it's finished, I mean, you put in all the hours, the hard work. How does it make you guys feel, you know, when you are driving from Woodstock and you see these beautiful pieces? Well, it's obviously it's an honor for us to, yeah. to be associated with it. I mean, we didn't walk into a crowd and say, hey, we're the guys that did that. <laughs> well, now piece. everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, but at the end of the day, I mean, to add this to our portfolio is huge. And, and, and we just mm. ordered, I mean, we've been, you know, fortunate to work with a lot of struggle icons before and exhibitions and, and um, you know, you know, campaigns, and, and we're just lucky to, to, to be a part of this, and yeah, uh, yeah we're happy about well, it. Well, Jens, thank you so much, man. I'm hoping that there's going to be more incredible works like this, hopefully down thank the you. pipeline, but really, thank you very much. I mean, you did a good service to Cape Town. I think it makes the city even more beautiful than it is already. Lots more feel-good heading your way on your Friday. Let's carry on.